I didn't see you there. My name is Nick Bell. I'm with the RDC Kings. And this year, this is my crib. Dogs are on. Let's go see the rest of my crib here. Now this is my uh, my kitchen here. I got my my storage here. I usually have uh, a bunch of plastic bags in case of uh, cleaning stuff. My sink here. Got running water in case I ever need to. Well, I got to pump it sometimes. But running water, coffee maker. Got really everything you need. Got my uh, my chrome chrome grill here. I guess my chrome stove. It's got two burners on it. Both of them can be uh, lit at the same time. Here's my fridge. Now this fridge is a high quality three-way fridge. It's got, it can run on propane, can run on battery, or if I'm plugged into the, uh, into the school sometimes, and now I gotta charge up uh, whatever, I can run it off right off the school. So, you know, using their power. Now this, uh, this van is equipped with a, uh, a very nice sunroof. Um, you know, it gets some natural light in here is the main thing, you know, vitamin D. This here, this is where the magic happens. This bed transforms into a table as well. Well, we just uh, had a look at my, uh, my living room, my kitchen, and uh, my bed there, so why don't I, uh, why don't I take you over to the captain's seat? That's where I like to call it. Um, it's got a 350, uh, 350 Chev engine, 1980. Um, it's got an automatic transmission. This baby has uh, defrost and heat, no air conditioning, which is a bummer. Um, it's got the JVC KDX40 surround sound um, machine there. Well, let's see if she'll, she'll fire up here. There it is. We're sitting behind a lot of power. You can hear that. Well, that there was the cockpit. Looks big from here, but yeah, this is the same spot where you were just right there. But I got a little curtain here you put up. Eliminates, uh, you know, all your friends if, uh, if you have your friends over or anything. Have them out. And then this here is my toilet. It's got the adjustable seat so you can up or down for ladies or girls. This here's the turner for the, for the flusher. All right, well, thanks for coming, checking out my crib. Practice starts here in uh, about an hour or so, so I gotta go. See you later. Uh, Clayton Petrie, centerman. Um, it's uh, the Col Colorado Avalanche right now. Um, why? Because uh, I'm not an Oilers fan in anymore. Uh, no, you know, this has kind of just been a most recent kind of decision. You know, I liked the Oilers for a long time, but I think it is time to move on. Um, let's say uh, Peter Forsberg. Um, I don't know, back in the day, he was just unreal. Slowed the game down. He was great at putting the puck in the net. Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's pretty sick. I'm pretty sick. <laughs> uh, I'm good at math. You know, I like to do addition and subtraction. <laughs> it's my favorite. My name is Kramer Barnstable. I'm a goalkeeper. 
I don't really have a favorite team in the NHL. I just kind of have, I have buddies that play there now, and so I kind of just follow them. But um, I've, I'd say my last favorite team is probably the Tampa Bay Lightning, back in the days when they had uh, St. Louis and Le Cavalier and Happy Bullen. A uh, good buddy, Brandon McMillan, plays for Phoenix, and um, I know Cody Franson for Toronto as well, and uh, I played with Nugent Hopkins as well in, in Edmonton, so kind of all over the place. Um, I'll just go with who I model my game around, which is Cam Ward. I think we're just kind of a similar style. Well, there's a lot of goalies nowadays that are really technical, but I'm kind of a little more orthodox, stand up, a little bit kind of unpredictable, and I think Cam Ward has that style in him as well. And just things that he does, a different butterfly, and sometimes he'll throw a pad stag out, out there, and I like to do that too, so. Uh, anything different would probably be Christian Rock. I don't think there's anyone else listening to Christian Rock on the team, and then maybe some worship music on the way here. Just uh, a little bit of a whole different uh, mindset coming to the game. Well, I'll just do this one right here if you watch the hat closely. We could end up climbing uh, as high as, you know, fifth and leapfrogging Keanu, or we could end up staying in sixth place where we're at. Yeah, so quarterfinals, best of three. Um, we're either going to face Grant McEwen, uh, McEwen University, or Keanu. And, uh, you know, we'll host uh, Saturday's game. It's a best of three, play Friday, Saturday, Sunday if necessary. And, you know, this year, just the way our stats have worked out, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but we're, we've been better on the road. Our penalty kill, our power play, our goals against five on five, all those little things. We've actually played better on the road this year. So we're just trying to keep playing like we have been the last little while and, um, you know, make sure that we're ready to play wherever we're at. Well, against McEwen, you know, they finished in third place this year. They're, they're a really good, uh, a structured team. They forecheck really well. They have one of the top penalty kills in the league. Um, they play at Bill Hunter Arena in Edmonton, which is a very small ice surface. So that's an advantage to them uh, to play half of their games there. So if we end up playing them, we just have to make sure that we really, we're really working on our breakouts, we're working on our power play, we're working on trying to get shots generated at the net and traffic because they're, you know, the, the end zones are shorter there. If we end up playing Augustana, it would be similar to, to our rink, you know, the, the arena in Camrose. Augustana has a little more high-end talent than McEwen, but they're a little bit more run and gun. Uh, they have a really good power play, so they're kind of two different teams, and we just have to, you know, prepare and try to match up against whoever we play against. But, you know, the key thing is we need to be playing our best hockey and kind of be concerned about how we're executing more than anything else. You can't have a bad period. You can't even have a bad segment of a few minutes because it's not a seven-game series. You, you have to get it done quick, so that can be an advantage or it can be a disadvantage depending on your preparation. It's a little bit more like a short-term competition that way. Uh, it's Nick Bell. I play defense. Uh, I'd say the favorite NHL teams would be just the Alberta teams, Calgary and uh, Edmonton, just because I was able to uh, watch them growing up. I'm from Innisfil, so depending on you know who's invited me up to Calgary or Edmonton is the team I'm going to watch, I guess. Well, I guess I'd have to choose my uh, uh, one of the hometown guys, Chris Russell, He's up in Calgary right now, and I just kind of model my game around him a little bit, and uh, I was able to watch him uh, play hockey all the way up through uh, minor hockey as well. He was He's from uh, more or less in his spell, so. Yeah, he's just got the great first pass, um, offensive defenseman. He's a little smaller guy, but he's a great player. Oh, I don't know, I used to listen to some Gwen Stefani back in the day, but you know, it's kind of out of my system now. Oh, I can't even remember this stupid song. It's Holla Back Girl, I guess. A couple unique things I do in the summer is I take the van, my camper van around uh, Around, uh, around the world. Yeah, I bought a 1980s camper van. Uh, me and my wife took it on our honeymoon. Um, and we went down to uh, California, did the whole uh, West Coast thing, and uh, did some surfing. Wasn't very good at surfing, but uh, hopefully we'll try that out again, uh, maybe this summer.